Okay, so uh, this is similarity and congruence. Under similarity and congruence, let's, let's look at this question which came in 2017 paper 1 in the exam which was written in November. The question reads, the ratio of the surface areas of two cubes is 16 to 25. What is the volume of the smaller cube if the volume of the bigger of the larger cube is 500 cubic centimeters? So in order for you to solve that, that question, what you need to know first of all, you have to interpret from this statement, the ratio of the surface area of two cube is 16 to 25. So what you do, before you start your solutions, what you do, you write area scale factor, area scale factor for A to be K power 2 hours, which is equals to 16 to 25. So the question is, we are looking for volume. So we have to change area scale factor to volume scale factor. So how do you change from area scale factor to volume scale factor? First thing, first you have to convert from area scale factor to uh, corresponding sides. So it will be just k. In order for you to remain with just k, this is power. So it means we are looking for the square root of 16 to 25. So this will be square root of 16 is 4. What is the square root of 25? That is 5. So this is the ratio of corresponding sides. From there now, that's when you can convert from here to volume scale factor. Now volume scale factor will be k power 3 will be equal to 4 to 5 l power 3. Which will be 4 power 3 is the same as 4. 4 power 3 to 5 power 3. 4 power 3 means you multiply 4 itself 4 times to be 4 times 4 times 4. Same applies even 5 means 5 times 5 times 5. From there, 4 times 4 it is 16. Then 16 times 4, the result will be 64. From there, 5 times 5 is 25. Times 5 it will be 125. Thereafter, now this is what we call volume scale factor. Now we use this this ratio to find uh, the volume of the smaller. Now, first of all, you have to identify which one is greater than between 64 and 125. So this this scale factor, this ratio, it is stated as uh, from small to big. So this implies that 64 to 125 is equals to, since we are looking for the smaller one. So this side we have started with it. A small. So even here we have, we have to start with a smaller one, which we don't know. You put x. Then here, the bigger one we are given that for the larger one is 500. You put 500 there. From there now, these ratios now you express them. You write them in fraction. If you say 64 to 125, you have not changed any meaning. Is equal to same apply this side x over 500. From there now, you cross multiplication this time in this. So, this will be uh, x times 125, it will be 125x is equal to 64 times 500. Remember, this is paper 1. You are not allowed to use a calculator. Don't multiply these numbers. They will give you Big, a big number and you, it, 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 it will take time for you in order to find it, the answer there. So what you do, just ignore it, leave it the way it is. Divide both sides by 125. Right? 125. So this side we are going to remain with it. X. So what you do again, break down this 500 and this 125. They are too big. Break them down. At least 64. And write it just like that. So 500, it is the same as 5 times 100. So again, 100 is the same as 5 times 20. So when you say 5 times 20, it is 100. 100 times 5, it will be 500. We have not changed the meaning. Again, we come to this one. 125 is 5 times 5 times 5. Multiply 5 three times. From there now, you cancel. 5 and 5 will go. 5 and 5 will go. This 5 into 20, it is 4. Then from there on top, we are going to remain with it. It is the 4 times 4. Now this one, it is very easy. Now it will be easier for you to evaluate this one without using a calculator. Then x will be equal to 
4 times 4, it is 16. Write 6, carry 1. 4 times 6, it is 24. Plus 1, it will be 25. So it will be, the answer is 256 centimeters cubic. So this is the volume of the smaller tube. Then it ends there.